My name's Maria, and this is a go-to total gym workout that you can fit into any workout program. It's for one of those days where you know you need to do some movement, but you don't really feel like being creative, and you don't really want to put so much into your normal fitness routine. So it's a workout that has familiar movements that'll still get you excellent results. It works in three mini circuits. We'll perform each exercise for about a minute each, and we'll repeat it twice. It's a quick circuit and you can fit it into any workout plan and at any fitness level by adjusting your incline height. So let's get moving. Before we get started, let's make sure that your total gym is set up appropriately. You will have it on a high incline and your squat stand will be attached. Now let's get right into the dynamic warm up. So take your legs more than shoulder distance width apart, take a big stretch and reach up overhead, stretch the arms back, open up your shoulders and chest and swing it down. Do it again, reach up, exhale, and release it down one more time, reach it up, Take a big stretch and then start to circle your arms with a little tiny movement of your legs. Big circles, full range of motion, and reverse your circle. And let's take this into a twist from side to side. Just rotating, pivot through your legs. And then just full range of motion so that we prepare our body for the workout. Let's take this into side to side lunges, reach down, press your hips back. Toes and knees are facing the front. Open up through your arms. Twisting through your waist. That's it, breathe. Here's four more. Here's three. Here's two. One more. And one, bring both legs back to the center. One squat and then reverse lunge. And then go to the other side, a squat and a lunge. Now on that lunge, I like to reach my arms up because that opens up through my chest, through my shoulders. Gives a little bit of range of motion through the whole body. That's it, get nice and low. Keep pressing it back. Stay down there. Press it back into the heel of your foot so that you really feel your glutes. Wake them up. You also feel your heart rate come up. That's it, here's four more. Here's three. Good, give me two, one more. And one, plank position. Take your legs back, alternating your mountain climbers. This is slow, keeping your shoulders on top of your wrist and your nose in front of your fingers. Keep your core in tight. Now start to take this into a diagonal, taking the knee to the opposite arm, warming up through your obliques. That's it, keep breathing. Beautiful. Four more, here's four, here's three, Here's two, and one. Press your hips back. Nice little stretch into your downward dog. Alternating by pedaling through your feet. Feeling a little stretch through your lower back. Now look up at your hands, take a big step forward. Over up to your body, and then come all the way back into your down dog. Take another step forward, and rotate open. Hands go back, and back into your down dog. Step it up, we'll keep alternating this. Now you can always go at your own pace. Because this is a time circuit, so my timing might be a little different than yours. But just try to stick to a rhythm that works. So I feel that stretch through your shoulder, through your chest, open up through your torso as well. One more on each side. Good. And last one. We'll hold a plank position, staying in nice and strong here. Shoulders on top of wrists, nose in front of your finger. Body is long from your head to your heels, holding nice and strong. Breathe. Good, okay, getting it down to your forearms in four, three, two, and one. Going all the way down, holding it here. That's it, and then we're gonna move right into our first circuit. Staying strong, let's shift forward and back. Making sure our calves are nice and loose, as well as our shoulders, and our core is super tight. That's it. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees down, press your hips back, little chest, child's pose stretch. All right, let's roll it on up and come to a standing position and go right onto your total gym. So you'll straddle, come into a supine position, placing your feet onto your squat stand, now, I always like to make sure I cup at the very bottom before I get started. All right, our first circuit starts going to some cardio movements. So I want you to really press through the heels. Just get those legs moving. 
all the way down, all the way up. Full range of motion. We're gonna add in our core. So here we go, hands will come back, and we add a little jump. And as we jump, I want you to lift your chest and crunch. Exhale, lift, that's it, and press. Holding it here. Our next movement, we'll work into a bicycle crunch. So keep this going, keep this movement. We're just we're burning those calories, strengthening our body at the same time, really maximizing our efforts. Four, three, two, bicycle jog. We take it into a little run, bringing our torso to the opposite knee. When you land, make sure it's nice and soft, absorbing the landing. Lift your chest up so that you can really feel your obliques. Bringing that knee in towards that opposite shoulder. Carefully while you're moving. 
Yes. It's always nice to feel the bottom of that glide work cushion. That'll keep your body in place. So let's do a little bottom out. That's it. Remember, change the angle if you'd like. Rest your head if you'd like. Just have fun with it. Just keep moving. But you're almost there. And it'll give you six minutes of cardio, core, and leg strength power. We'll move on to our second circuit. Keep going. Breathe. Breathing in and out. Good. Fifteen seconds. Make it good. Working those inner thighs, outer thighs, glutes, hamstrings. What? I don't know. Swell your core. Here's three. Two, one, extend it. Reach the arms, roll it up. Straddle it down. Close your glide board. Do a quick little stretch. Take a nice breather. And lift it up. Let's go ahead and remove your squat stand. And you will lower your incline down to a low level. And then find yourself at the very bottom. So you have two options here. These are knee tucks. You can either go on an incline, your body will come out and you ride it in. So that is our first option. Second option, you'll flip it around, hands on the floor by the base, open up to your glide board, feet at the very end, and you'll tuck your knees in. So this is more advanced. So find your poison and let's go. Here we go, bring it in and out. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Breathe. That's it. In and out. So that's a great way to train through your shoulders as well as through your core. So if you start to feel too much quad because we just worked it, you can keep your range of motion nice and small. So it's just about keeping your core in tight and really activating it rather than the big, large movement. So I want you to think about core and stabilizing in your shoulders. You got this. Breathe. Nice. Good. In and out. Perfect. Good. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. The second exercise. Again, modify. You're on an angle. You can either be out here and open and close with your body twisted, or you will be the other way. So I'll show you both directions. Are we ready? Timer is on. Assume your position. Top leg is in front in both directions. Here we go. Either slide it out and in, or if you're in this position, bring those knees in and out. We'll hold this for 30 seconds in each direction. Bring it in and out. Looking good. Feeling good, right? Bring it in and out. Staying strong here. 10 more seconds, and we'll flip to the other direction. Good, pull it in. Here's three, two, one. Change your position and do it again. Bring it in and out. Breathe. That's it. Nice and easy. In and out. So again, both positions are very challenging. Whether you're at this decline or you're facing the tower at an incline, very challenging to do. You can still get great results. Think about your waistline. Here's four, three, two, and rest. Flip it over and onto your glide board into a B-sit position. Start to twist from side to side. Shake out your hips, but really activate your core. That's it, and we're gonna repeat that whole thing again. So if you tried the incline, maybe you tried decline. Or stick with what you just did if it was working for you. All right, come on, we got this. Press, twist, breathe. If you want more intensity here, lift up those feet off of your glide board and twist, 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 twist. That's it. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it all the way up. Find your position, either incline or decline. I'm gonna go into the decline position again. My hands are at the bottom base or they're on the glide board. Find your leg position. These are their leg tucks. So knee tucks come in. Sorry, knee tucks. So we bring it in and press it out. Making sure that our feet are at the very bottom of our glide board if we are in this position. 
And if you're in the incline position, your feet are very close to the bottom rail. That's it, bring it in and out. Exhale. Easy. And bring it in. Exhale out. Take your time. Allow the muscles to contract. That's it. In and out. Good. Finding that position. Working through your core. Upper body stays still in both positions. But you're staying active through your abdominal muscles. That's it. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Close your glide board. Quick little rest. Find your positioning. We go into our side pikes or side knee tucks. So incline or decline, ready. Here we go, hands are down or on the blackboard. Extend out through the legs and we bring the knees in and out. Working through our waistline. Now this is your last set. And we'll go into our third and final mini circuit. Breathe, that's it. In and out. You got this. Good. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Change sides. In and out again. If you need to take a break at any time, please do so. And then you'll come back strong. You got this. In and out. Keep my core in tight. So as you notice, there's a lot of core focus here. Because the core is the root of all strength. That's it. Here's three, two, one. Release it down. Oh, stretch. And round it back. Come on to that glide board again for one more set of seated twists. Arms are out. Start to twist it side to side. Good. 30 seconds here. Then I want you to quickly change your incline if you'd like to a little bit higher for your upper body work and you'll connect your cables. All right, so we have 15 seconds. Get ready to make those changes into your setup. And then we'll go into a row. Gonna keep going, Just keep twisting, keep going. Twist, twist. Here's four, three, two, and one. All right, bring it on up. Go ahead and change your incline if you'd like. Give myself a little more resistance and then adjust your cables. Take your cables into your hands, you'll face the tower. Now you can do the seated. I like to do a kneeling position, it just gives me a little bit more range of motion. So you can come into that kneeling position. The first movement is a high row and then a fly. So high row, work in the upper back. Low fly, working the lower back, or I should say, the lower part of your mid back. That's it, so we're just challenging everything here. I just want your whole torso to be upright. That's it, lift it, and reach. Staying strong. So remember, you can always adjust your incline if it's too easy or too hard. Just lift it up higher. You have time, I'm holding this for one minute. You got it. Up and in. It's so really burning it out. You can take your tempo slower or faster as well. That'll also change the ability of your workout to be, you know, a tough workout. Keep going. I just want you to push yourself to the best of your ability. And if you even like, you can come to that high kneeling position to make sure that your core is in tight and you're used to practicing this move. That's it. Final 10 seconds. Breathe. Here's four, three, two, anchor down. So anchor down, flip it around. We come into a seated position for our chest press and fly. So from here, I press it out and then I bring it around. Press it out from the chest and then into a fly. We're just alternating it, super setting, maximizing our time. And in, breathe. 
keep pressing. Now you can change that angle as well. You want a little incline, press up towards the eyes. You can get a little decline. So you can get it. The whole thing is you just change it up, changing those variables. The angles will get you a totally well-worked, well-rounded form of your muscles. That's it, just keep going. Breathe. You can do any variations of these as well. So if there's a different one that you like to do, go for it. Stick with me. We have about five seconds. We'll change it to our last exercise in this circuit. Three, two, one, bring it in. Straddle down, walk your body down to the very edge, and then come down to a supine position for the pullover crunch. We lift our chest up and reach our arms towards our hips. So I want you to exhale, lift that whole upper body as you come all the way up and reach across. That's it. Now for a little bit more intensity, of course you can lift those legs, raise it up. That's it, we'll lift. Squeezing your legs together. I'm gonna get you some inner thigh work as well. Breathe. That's it. Almost there. Reach those arms, stretch them out there. Breathe. Now for a little bit more intensity in your core, of course, you can straighten the legs. Just make sure your lower back is on the glide board at all times so that you really maximize that core work. That's it, a lift. Exhale, and breathe. Nice, you have five. Here's four. Exhale, three, just two more. Last one, roll it up, sit it up, and we're going right back into those rows and flies. So flip it around again. Change your incline if you need to. Anchor down, kneel down, or sit. Your choice. Here we go. High row and a low fly. Brave it up and extend. So I just want you to really push it out. This is your last set through all three of these exercises. Working strong, continuous, so you're also getting cardio. A little cardio strength is what I call it. That's it, keep breathing. And again, if you like that high kneeling position, go for it. And you can slow it down as well, really getting some control, some total muscle contraction. That's it, breathe. All the way in, all the way out. Here's three, two, one, and anchor down. Flip it around. Chest press again, chest and fly. Now you can always come into a leg position out to the side if your flexibility is not there. Otherwise, legs on top, let's work those, that flexibility. So one chest press, one fly. One chest press, and fly. Working through it. Staying strong. Whew. So you can really feel this working, not just in your arms, but in your shoulders, in your core. Everything is working here. Keep breathing. Push it out there. Good, stay strong for me. We're there, we're there. Whew. We've got 15 seconds here. That's it, breathe. Good. How about this last? Eight seconds, I want you just to hold it there. Static equilibrium, push it out. Don't move that leg work. Come on, you got this. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice. Go ahead down into a supine position. Let's finish it up with that pullover crunch. So we're onto our back. Arms will come up, reach out towards your hips. Exhale and lift. Exhale, reach. Breathe. So we can change these arms this time. So rather than reaching straight down and forward, let's reach out to the side. So we'll work those delts, shapely shoulders. That's it, keep your core in tight. Same movement, just different angle. And we can lift up our knees, get a little bit more core work. That's it. Just make sure you're not in your neck. You're lifting your torso up high enough so that you can feel your abdominals work. If not, give your neck a rest and then just really focus on keeping your core in tight and working your arms. You got this. 
Let it make course. You can straighten those legs. Finishing it out here. That's it. 10 seconds. Make this the best 10 seconds. You got this. Breathe, breathe. Here's four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Bring the legs down lower. Hold it, hold it. And release down. Go ahead and give it a little stretch. Open up through your shoulders. We made it all the way through. Three mini circuits, twice through. Lots of work there. Total body conditioning. So let's give it a quick stretch. So from right here, just go ahead and disconnect your cable. Place it off to the side. We're just gonna come into a lunge position. So on one side, take one leg onto your slide board. The other is way at the top. And you're just gonna just sink your body down and just move your hip from side to side. Getting a little bit of mobility, a little bit of stretch through your hip flexor. It's also nice on your knee because it has a lot of cushion. Good, right from here, let's go ahead and take your leg all the way straight in the front, your hip shift back. Now let's stretch and then bring it forward. So we're just moving through these stretches dynamically because your heart rate is still up. So we're just cooling it down. Good, and then bring it all the way back and let's go into the other side. So other leg comes forward. Very big lunge, just rock from side to side. Just feeling that stretch through your hip flexor, through your outer thigh, your inner thigh, your hamstrings. Of course your glutes, sit back. Feel the stretch in through your back of your leg. And do it again, look up and all the way down. And then back in, very nice. Go ahead and take it now into a cat-cow position. Round your back, exhale, arch. Do it again, round, exhale, arch. Straddle your glide board, press it out in a way so we get a nice stretch through our shoulders. And just shift your hips from side to side so that you feel the stretch coming through your upper back, your lower back, through your neck. And then slowly bend your knees, allow the glide board to close, and then slowly roll yourself up to a standing position. Take a nice deep stretch, inhale. Exhale, lean to the side, keep your knees bent. Inhale to lift up. Exhale and reach to the other side. Inhale back to the middle and release down and take a break. And that, my friends, completes our go-to workout, something that you can fit into any workout program on those days where you just need something that's efficient and effective for your body.